listening closely. We doing our own thing, but we doing this for the culture. Check out the topic. Check out the topic. Don't be the subject. Don't be the subject. We keep it pop. Hey, we keep it pop. You can be up, nigga. You can be up, nigga. We are more than culture. 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 We are more than culture. More than culture. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, ocho, nueve, diez, uno. <laughs> What's eleven for real? Once, 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 you bitch, you. That nigga said <laughs> diez, uno. Yes, sir. You Sound said. like a pizza plate. Ooh. Welcome to diez, uno. Did, uh, you ever had the Vitos? The Vito three seventy five piece. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> nigga, yes. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, that might. I think that's real specific to like maybe Atlanta. Yes, it's real specific to the East Side. Oh no, shit. Yes. Okay. 100%. My bad. It was only one nigga. <laughs> it was only one stove. Like, did you go there? No, it's like you ever had the Vito. No, it's like three of them. <laughs> But they they all on the east side. You ever had Papa Ray's Pizza? <laughs> like, mm-hmm. yeah, no, nah, I'm just that's another it's a bullshit name. I just threw. Yeah, bro. Three seventy five pizza. You gonna win? You gonna Three dollars and seventy five. I'm telling you, yeah, for the nah, whole pizza, for the whole thing, bro. Mm-hmm. It don't I mean, matter. It's not. It, it's this is a it's a throwback establishment. You know what I'm saying? They opened in the '90s mm-hmm. when yeah. food was real and not as expensive. And it was three seventy five for a pie, for a whole pizza, bro. What's your go to meal when you're on the road? Mm, good question. Go to meal on the road. I mean, you know, cause you're on the road now, dog. I ain't what I'm saying. Like I'm not. <laughs> you know, I, I my 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 road legs ain't that strong. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't ate yet on the road. No, I mean, I've, uh, to have a go to <laughs> meal. I just did a weekend with this nigga right. on the road. Yeah, in the smallest town in the world. Talk what about do we it. eat though, bro? Cause you what put me did, on game. Nah, because I I I am a man in a house <laughs> full of women. Okay. I routinely have to figure out what oh, the fuck to eat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere we go. Like I have to be the nigga in my phone on Yelp trying to find a restaurant where everybody can eat at. So that's I'm used to that. All right. I'm gonna find a, a decent place to eat. So that should be a segment you do, bro. Like just a good spot to eat at, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna find the spot to eat. I'm gonna find nigga, to eat. I don't. I, I I I stick to my three or four places. You gotta know how to. You gotta know how to read reviews. Black people review restaurants for other black people to read. White people review restaurants trying to get Man. people closed down. Black people review it so other black people <laughs> that is know so for real though. No, nah, black people review it so other black people know what the fuck going on. It's it's Yelpers. It's black Yelpers. That like it's black Twitters. There's it's black Yelpers. One hundred percent black Yelpers. What? Yeah. Blelpers. Blelpers. Blepers. Blepers. <laughs> Those are black lepers. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> what places I eat? All right, so come out. I want to say where you put me on to. No, you can't go wrong with Waffle House. No, but it's a, it's a certain thing uh, for vegan like, to eat. For a vegetarian to eat, for a vegetarian, for a shit, for a vegetarian to eat. All that. That you put me on to. You said it's a milk. It's an omelet. It's an omelet. Yeah. It's totally too different. Waffle House. Yeah. Say the shit, man. <laughs> this nigga's nah, acting so coy. Nah, because <laughs> I don't eat pork. You know what I'm saying? So everywhere you go, you got to find someone. Now that I've extended that to not eating meat and chicken and shit. So if you don't, you get a fiesta omelet, no ham, bad mushrooms. And that shit is That's amazing. How you order. It's a good omelet. Tyler. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. If you didn't know. Sounds good. It's a fine know, Waffle House thing. I know you don't eat at the, 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 the Waffle no more. I don't. Nah, the Waffle House is- That hat nervous. is giving me, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm eating veal. <laughs> they be in there fighting. You know what I'm saying? You eat a little duck. You know what I'm saying? You look a little shark, duck. A little <laughs> Kroger shark meat. Kroger, Kroger shark. shark. I ain't public, man. Public shark. <laughs> public tuna. A little fresher. Yeah, a little man. fresher. I mean, you know, Uber Eats is my go-to. So I don't know. If, yeah, like, I, yeah, I just, you know, yeah. look up seafood. They didn't even have Uber Eats. They yeah, we was y'all. That's what I wanted. Yeah, we was in uh, Bristol, Bristol, Tennessee, Virginia. Yeah. Oh, man. 
It's right on the border of Tennessee and Virginia. Yeah, soon as you yeah. soon as you drive into that bitch, you're like half, half the city in Tennessee, half the city man. in Virginia. Niggas had y'all in the cracker barrel. That yeah, is, that's a barrel of crackers. Yeah, in in, in in the fucking um, the meth hood. Yeah. Cause Man, they hoods be meth meth out. out. Mm-hmm. I, don't, yeah, if, I don't know if it's opiates or meth, but them motherfuckers. We stayed across the street from a crack house. Straight up den, <laughs> a drug den. <laughs> what was y'all? What was y'all in? I oh, was in an Airbnb. Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was clean too, dog. Nice little, nice little nice Airbnb. Little Airbnb. <laughs> right across the street, you know the crack houses across the street when they got plywood blocking the front door mm. that you got to push to the side to get in to get inside big, big play damn <laughs> met all day at the comedy spot bruh damn we saw a drive uh a drive-by uh, picking up trash and a drive-by drop-off couch oh yeah it was sca- it was it was a it was a full-on scavenger hunt going on 24 <laughs> 7 it was 24 <laughs> 7 scavenger he was looking bro. for something Niggas oh, was man. looking for life <laughs> Things to do. <laughs> just to, <laughs> looking for everybody yard had a was, project bro. that they didn't finish. Ain't no HOA, so everybody. Yeah. But, shit every, was different. but the thing is, is that everybody's trash had some valuable shit in it. You it was saying? one like, piece of art in there that you. you know what I'm saying like, like some, everybody had like a sofa or a fucking. I don't know if it was fucking bulk trash day or what. <laughs> But everybody was throwing out some big shit. She had bed bugs. This one nigga. Uh, <laughs> this one dude with one leg got his big ass couch. On top of his truck, brought it down the street, dropped it off at a new house, mm-hmm. called them to get it. This other uh, guy was on the bike, picked up a uh, a plate set. What did he get? He had, you know, he had a bookshelf on a scooter. On a- <laughs> <laughs> them, drugs, them drugs hitting hard up there, boy. Man, yeah, we seen some show. of everything, bro. Yeah, man, what Nard had y'all in, man? Hey, man, shout out to Nard. <laughs> <laughs> well, how was shout the club? The club was nice, man. Like it was, it was a nice facility. They had <laughs> facility. Nah, it nah. was a really nice venue. It, be it was a post, post office. office. Oh, they had bought out and renovated and turned it to a club. So it still got all the marble. It still look real. Mm. You know what I mean? Historic yeah. And shit. Yeah, federal. They yeah. just gotta work on getting some people in there. Mm-hmm. They got it's the like, space. It's yeah. like middle America crowd. No people. You know what I mean? So it's just like purebred, you yeah. know what I'm saying? From the town. Good old white people. Oh, yeah, everybody there from there. Right. Yeah. You know I mean? uh, but now nah, that's also the where they got the um Speedway. Mm. They got a racetrack Bristol there. Speedway. Bristol, oh, okay. Bristol Speedway. Yeah, yeah. Right that's why the dude one of the dude across the street. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every, I'm sure everybody in the neighborhood know that's an Airbnb. Gotcha. So they see us. Niggas. Oh my Not God. just niggas, but me and Remo. Yeah. You know what I'm Y'all saying? Y'all niggas. Like, nigga, nigga. You Y'all know what I'm saying? Niggas. Like, Remo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. He's like, Y'all in town for the races? No, man. No. Nope. Hell no. <laughs> races. Races. <laughs> No racist. We ain't in time for none of that shit. Bro, <laughs> it's one of those towns where a nigga rims match his shoes. Oh, word. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and he wore the same. He wore them shoes every time. Lime green shoes. rims. With some lime green. Lime green Ooh. shoes. Ooh. Hey, you talking Bristol. about, bro? Kicks Max <laughs> Mustang. Kicks. Lime Ooh. green Mustang. Oh. Yeah, sir. What what what, what about you? When you on the road? Nah. <laughs> Niggas are thought. You said Uber Eats. Uber Eats seafood option. You know what I mean? Try to find maybe trying to chain an Outback or right. a Longhorn. Or, you know what I mean? One of those and get some seafood from out there. Safe. Tried and true. Usually. Yeah, tried and true. Yeah, I used man. to get the Subway till I realized tuna wasn't real. I used to get the Subway tuna. Uh, there's a lot of bread, too. And, and But it's not real. Yeah, yeah That's bad. They meat. say it is, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't. It's, nah. still, it's still a loaf of bread. It is a whole loaf. Niggas eat a loaf <laughs> of bread in the car. <laughs> you got to get the, the pita bread joke. Yeah, 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 you got to get the wrap. You, you got to get, get the wrap. It's it still a, a loaf of wrap. <laughs> a loaf of rap. Big ass rap, nigga. You just can't eat that much. You can't eat four sandwiches sitting down. Nigga, I'm finna. I'm, I you eat on the road. I don't eat the whole shit. You only right. eat once on the road. You only eat once on the road. What you eat when you get there and then after? I like can't for have. one day. Oh, yeah. Are you talking about weekend? Yeah, you eat. My bad. Yeah. I got. Do you eat before your show? Not too soon. 
You gotta have. Like, I don't like to be full. I don't like to feel full. Oh man, that's the worst. You know what I'm saying? Like, Sluggish, I'd rather strong. I'd rather be hungry mm-hmm. than than like full right. to perform. I'd rather not have ate nothing at all. Mm. That's real. Make your mouth a little white though when you go eat. Yeah, that's true. That's the fuck. Gotta yeah, stay hydrated. Yeah. Got Even though you got any routines? You go to the mall. You go see the city. A road take routine. a nap. Usually a nap. Got to be in there. Got to be a nap. If I can nap and shit, I'm good. Yeah. Nap I'm shit, money. Shower, smoke, eat, watch a little sports center. Yeah. Clear your mind. Mm-hmm. Talk to them. You know, talk on the phone with somebody, you fall asleep, boom. Wake up, ready to go. Kill these motherfuckers. Kill yeah, these motherfuckers. Kill. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> weird being a comedian on the road, man. Cause you, I was trying to think of like them niggas in the nineties. They ain't have shit, but like seven channels in a dusty ass hotel. And yeah, a, man. And a, and a, and a and phone, a, phone. A CB That's why the niggas ended up with <laughs> <laughs> road babies. Road babies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and road rapies. Oh boy. <laughs> Sorry. Road cases when you when you edit. Sheesh. That's <laughs> hilarious. But they I don't know. I don't why. I'm mad. I mean, I ain't. I mean. Mm-hmm. Can't be mad at me. I ain't do this shit. No, you can't. You can't mm-hmm. be mad at you for speaking. Though. All my shit consensual. Bro, speaking of Yelp reviews, I was out of town. Yeah. At a, uh, I'm glad you didn't say. Some, yeah, go ahead. In the strip club, I was reading strip club reviews, bro. They was like, "The ladies up here are dazzling." I'm like, "That's white people. Uh, I ain't going to no spot with no dazzling bitches." Yeah, no. See, the black the black people are not leaving strip club reviews. On your Can I tell you what else is 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 white? What? Reading strip club reviews. Yeah. <laughs> I was out of town. You know what I'm saying? You don't know where to go. Just go. No, nah, nigga. I that's the part of the dazzling. Exper- that's part of the experience. You might have got like four new jokes out of that club. You never know. Nah, I love that shit. Yeah. yeah. If you're trying to go to a club out and out. Honestly, and- like, bro, it'd be like people watching Central, bro, because you see people at they like, niggas be begging. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then women be begging too. Mm-hmm. They be begging for the bread, like you on that dance, bitch. Did I call you, man? You make so, you feel like a man, don't you? Yeah. Speaking of people watching, <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> we had went to the uh, what was that for Ronnie's birthday? We had pulled up to the joint, and I'm I'm chilling, yeah, because this I mean, Ramadan about to start. Niggas tricked me into going anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga wanna throw the dumb on him. You, know what you feel? Niggas tricked trick me into going. It's hilarious. No, nah, that's a fact. Remo tricked me into going. I ain't, I ain't know until. That's the name of the episode. <laughs> I ain't know until we got there. Weed and food and shit. But nah. <laughs> but. Ramadan is fucked. Like watching. <laughs> like the different ways niggas do the strip club was fucking hilarious. Yeah. Me, <laughs> like it was fucking funny, dog. Because. <laughs> <laughs> she's about to drop, G. I feel like he's about to drop. <laughs> nah, bro. Cause nah, it was just like I don't want to put no names on nothing. Damn it! I oh. know. God. <laughs> Give him a name. Huh? Give us an initial. R. Give him a nickname. <laughs> huh? Damn, it's either two <laughs> niggas. Nah, uh. nigga. It, it was like four hours there. It was four hours there. R. Kelly, I hope, was not there. Nah. But, uh, nah. (laughs) That nigga recanting. I can see it in my head. Because I have a photographic memory. (laughs) So it's funny all over again. (laughs) Hold on. Fuck that shit. What the fuck did that voice come from? Because I have a photographic <laughs> memory. <laughs> Nigga snapped into another. Yeah, that's um, a secret genius talking there, yeah. bro. Nah, but <laughs> nah. the difference in the way niggas was tipping was just funny. Like some niggas, you know, just go straight. I'm gonna just put it in there. Put it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> put it in where, bro? Like in, what in, do you, you mean? know what I'm saying? In the leg garter or in okay. the like the garter? In, boy, that's why the shit. What club was y'all at? <laughs> Nah. <laughs> in the Leg in the, dr- in the <laughs> no, whatever the fuck it's called. Some niggas throw it in the air, and then it was <laughs> one nigga. It was one nigga <laughs> <laughs> that was like 
took his money out and turned and counted out how much he wanted. <laughs> took it back in his pocket, turned around, and then just like <laughs> placed it on top of her ass. <laughs> Very gently. Bro, it was so. It was like nigga, it was so funny, bro. Cause it was uh, like the nigga was at the counter at the gas station. <laughs> <laughs> I just bought this dance. The nigga had turned around, and counted his money. I was like, I did. One dollar tip. <laughs> They gave her a keep the chain slide. Man. <laughs> On top of her ass, though. One dollar she could while she good. danced. That's funny. That shit was funny as hell. <laughs> man, strip club, man. Strip club etiquette. You got to have some type of etiquette, man. You got to, man. Don't look at these hoes in the eyes, man, if you ain't got no money. Not in the eyes. Mm-mm. Oh, yeah, because they will take everything you got. They, they coming right at you. Boy. How yeah. long is too long for a conversation before you tell me? I'm good. It's on now. So they can stay the whole shift if they want to. You just like, you know, I mean, you know. I mean, you shouldn't let them do that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You should so always be like, yeah, I mean, you hit it with you, you should go get some money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At a point, they're going to ask you, though. Know? Yeah. Some niggas be looking for the friendship, B, and they just be like, so I mean, I'm saying, you about to leave? You about to go? Mm-hmm. You about to go? Yeah, nigga. Well, I mean, depending on who else is in there, you know what I mean? Let them get some bread, man. Let them get some money, man. Don't fucking, don't do that. Don't, um. Don't pick up the money. <laughs> I don't know why I gotta say that, but I gotta say No, that. you all right, no, fuck that. Talk uh, about listen. It. If you drop money out your pocket, oh, man. you gotta pick that up. But you got you got a few minutes to, like seconds to do it. You can't just let it linger. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga, I remember one time I lost like fifty bucks. And it just fell out the pocket. Mm. And it's like nah. Dollars. It was like Ten fives, let's say. Okay, I just came from the bank. I about to say you was out there selling nicks. I was selling nicks. I got ten fives. <laughs> <laughs> if you went to the bank, got ten fives. The bitches curse you out so bad. <laughs> I be doing stupid shit like that. <laughs> Let me get uh, fifty dollars in two dollar bills. Mm. <laughs> you know I'm at the club. Fuck you, uh, but yeah, bro, like they just fell out, bro, and. She was nice about it. Mm-hmm. She pointed out, she was like, that's yours. I was like, God damn it. You know what? Yes. But also been on the inverse of that shit and $200 and fell out and bitch just kept on dancing. Scoo- like I just, scooty like my, like my pocket tipped you, bitch. Mm. I mean, it's kind of down there. Mm-hmm. That's her domain. <laughs> <laughs> I just say, it's down there, man. Yeah, man. Um, Don't oh. pick up the money. Don't pick up the money. Um, pussy is two fifty to five hundred dollars, <laughs> even, and that's but, including the room. If you depending <laughs> on where you want to go, <laughs> top to bottom, don't take no less and don't take no more. Don't you take no more, bro? <laughs> Lord have mercy on. Like, but if they're yeah. not going for five, they're not going. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So man. I heard. <laughs> also. Strippers are good people to talk to therapy wise. Like if you go in the daytime, you know what I'm saying they've heard it all. You can't pull no tricks on them. You could just really be real to them. They like a they like a, a priest with a fat ass. <laughs> 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 Strippers are priests with fat ass Tyler. <laughs> That's the name of my special. <laughs> <laughs> Strippers the priest with fat asses. <laughs> Hear me out. That's how I'm starting off. Hear me out. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I know you'll 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 text it to me at four in the morning. This nigga this nigga dot net will get an idea at four in the morning and take a video of himself as it is. That's where he'll do it. <laughs> hey man, this'll be a hey, this will be funny, man. Like <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> what if you know niggas be <laughs> he said that nigga said yo he said niggas be <laughs> getting tendencies and shit from their mama and from women and act like women. What if they like dick like <laughs> 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 He shot that to everybody <laughs> He shot that one to me too <laughs> <laughs> Yep. 
so funny, man. That shit funny as Niggas hell. so funny, though. Wow. Can't stand y'all, man. That's how I'm going to start my special, though. No cap. Like, bro, I was raised in a fucking house with three women. And they all went through menopause right behind each other. Mm. Back to back to back, nigga. Mm-hmm. I caught hell and a few hugs. You didn't even know why. Oh, man. It was just like, I didn't even know, but yeah. that shit real, bro. You, you learn that shit. Niggas mm-hmm. catch that warm hugs. Right. <laughs> you ain't stop sleeping with a hoodie until punched. you was an adult. Bro, I'm gonna tell you, tell you one. Was one. Hugs was one. I was a, uh, I was in fifth grade <laughs> until I found out. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't supposed to pull your pants all the way down and at, at the stall to pee, bro. You know what I'm saying? In the fifth grade. In the fifth grade, bro. You know what I'm saying? When you were one grade away from middle school, nigga. I was about to go to middle school, ass out, my boy, at the urinal, my boy. Because mm-hmm. I remember my mama saying, "Pull them bitches all the way down so you don't get them wet." <laughs> Damn. And you ain't getting no more Damn, instruction boy. after that. That's it, bro. They just go into the world. <laughs> That's it. Bro, as soon as nigga walked in, they're like, boy, hell uh, no. <laughs> boy, this nigga ain't even potty trained. <laughs> <laughs> boy, you got your ass in the streets. I was like, no. <laughs> nigga ain't potty trained. Shot got goddamn. This shit crazy. They nigga started calling me raw dick. It was raw bad, dick bro. out here in the bathroom by raw dick. That's funny to feel great, boy. Nah, nigga call you raw dick. Bro, that's funny, bro. Nah, I I'm asking you this in all seriousness, bro. Mm-hmm. Did you go to South Dakota YMCA <laughs> summer camp? <laughs> you went to some summer camp at South Dakota. Yes, Why? nigga. Did Come you? on, walked in on you. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> because it was a nigga there that no, did me. that. No, with me. All right. <laughs> nah, cause I just I just had a flashback. <laughs> had a flashback. <laughs> like like this was you. <laughs> like that shit, I was there when that happened. <laughs> that was at South, was that was not nigga. in fifth grade. That was at South Cat YMCA in the locker room. That's hilarious, bro. <laughs> <laughs> niggas trauma look, you traumatizing niggas. Look, he's That's what I'm saying, <laughs> bro. I'm out here following my mother's instructions. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, yo. Speaking of traumatic events, y'all wanna do that? Oh well, man. Yo, uh, listen. I don't, this ain't so traumatic to me, to. but every time I go in the locker, every time oh I go in the locker room, to. I remember the scoliosis test. And there's one particular scoliosis test when two niggas was fighting by the nurse. Oh man, they're one of the best fights I've ever seen. And mm. and 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 they gave their scoliosis. They folded that bitch. <laughs> They gave her. That she was stuck in the corner. Cause you know how, so it's like <laughs> <laughs> So you know it's the bench in the middle, locker, locker, locker. You know what I'm saying? So you, okay. you kinda you boxed in. Niggas was started fighting and moved into it mo- moved into her area. So she was she, <laughs> I can still see. I oh, damn right. I need some glasses, but her, <laughs> <laughs> glass, I can still see her glasses. Was like this, and she was in the corner. And I was oh, like, no. oh shit! <laughs> and the niggas, and you know, I'm the type of nigga to be trying to like, yo, stop. Them niggas was fighting so hard, so hard. I don't even know what it was about. They was fighting so hard that you couldn't stop it. it was right, you just had to let it run its course, ah, bro. She's gonna have to die in there. I didn't, I didn't see. Yeah, it. she's like gonna die in like there. The, them gorillas at Omaha Zoo. <laughs> what? Y'all ain't seen that video? Them no, no. Gorillas fighting it was getting Omaha. down. Bro. <laughs> Post yeah, it, nigga. That Put shit, that bro. on. Post it. I'm about to goddamn. I seen a I seen a fight in middle school. Was it middle school? I uh, nah, I was junior high. That's middle school. school. So oh, yeah, that's, that's middle school. I'm sorry, it might be tripping. Tripping. West tripping. Coast, East Coast shit. I don't know. Uh, in junior high. <laughs> <laughs> I see yeah. this fight though for real. Uh and ain't gonna name no names, but we know the dude. Uh and he was on the losing end of this motherfucker, bro. It went down a whole hallway. Ooh. Into the lockers, into the lockers, mm-hmm. into the lockers. Then it got into the main hallway, which was either you could go to the gym or go to the cafeteria. Mm-hmm. That nigga ran that nigga head into them last three lockers. All three of them? Cut his head wide open, bro. That's the first time I ever seen like a bloody fight. Why was he beating him up so bad? Ah, that, you know, <laughs> ju- middle school anger <laughs> is Ooh. like. Damn, I ain't seen no fight like that in yeah, middle bro. school. <laughs> Sorry, junior high. I ain't seen one like that, boy. God damn, yeah, y'all niggas is real down here. Yeah, niggas is stronger and bigger here, though. That's for sure. 
All right, what you got? What you, you got? So we talking about the worst fights we didn't we didn't see. Well, fuck it, traumatic. But we, I just started with a fight, and Remo just, you know, what I mean, you know, you went to gorillas, and we just had to talk that. Yeah, gorilla fight got us. <laughs> can't can't skip that. These niggas, bro. Oh, 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 hands. Oh, ain't no gorilla could jump that high, boy. I think he got hurt though. <laughs> <laughs> my, boy, my boy ran behind the bush. <laughs> He had to patch one. it up. He's like, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. Damn, boy. He hit me with my eye, though. Oh. People in the video are screaming for the zookeepers. Like, they're going to go in there and break up a goddamn gorilla Bitch, fight. all I'm going to do is shoot him, and you're going to be mad. <laughs> I am making $11 an hour. I am not here <laughs> to break no gorillas right, up. Bitch, first of all, there's shit in there. <laughs> <laughs> that I ain't got up in two days. <laughs> yeah. That's why they fight. Ooh, wee, the boys was fighting. Yeah. If a gorilla, because, you know, sometimes they throw shit. If they threw shit, if they threw shit at each other. Yo, that's something to fight about. Dude. Yeah. Like if, if you just if you just slap me with a yeah, yeah. yeah. with a zookeeper, go. <laughs> George you have fucked that up, bro. Oh my god! <laughs> Did you tell your fight? Oh no! Nah. Um, so now, nah, yeah, I went to a school that was um, that was K through twelve. So I was in. That's nigga. That's senior. That is. Huh, that's all highs. That's all the highs. Nigga, that's <laughs> slavery, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> when the last time? How old are you? Come on. <laughs> what are you talking about? K through 12? About? Nigga, all we had this ain't locker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't say I went there the whole time. <laughs> Bro, the English teacher, the English teacher. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just establishing. They got 12 grade like that. That gym's small. <laughs> Just small as hell, bro. They don't even know half court. <laughs> 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 K two tw- I know it's niggas that went there the whole time. Shit. Yeah. What hell no? Nah. All right. There's a lot of schools. Like you that. married then. If you got a girlfriend, uh-huh. you married. Yeah. If you go in that bitch for all the time, that's all you know. I think it broke up with me in the fifth grade. Bitch <laughs> <laughs> saying I still go see you for the rest oh, of my yeah. time. Hell no, nah, bitch. We gotta fight. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm finna see you with a nigga for nine years. <laughs> Fuck this cool, bro. Bro, it was a lot it's of a pregnant 11th idea. graders. <laughs> see what? It was a lot of pregnant 11th graders. <laughs> that had to be like, well. This is such a bad idea. All right, I'm sorry. 12. I know there ain't that many teachers neither. <laughs> <laughs> It's 12 teachers, bro. All you need is a goddamn teacher per grade. Te- calculus and coloring. <laughs> the same. I don't know why this shit's so funny. I've been moved to tears several times today. That's funny, bro. I'm sorry. The fight. Yeah, the fight, man. <laughs> yeah, damn. <laughs> I don't, K through 12 is funny. Bro, Cathedral wasn't K through 12? Oh, man, I didn't go there. You didn't go to Cathedral? I did for two years. Yeah, this, this school I went to for three. You know what I'm saying? No, okay, it, wait, dude. It's it, niggas that went there forever. <laughs> <laughs> it's really a nigga no, no, it's that started and finished. That went, Yo, it's it's a got a Bible degree. Man. It's a nigga that went there when the janitor was a teenager. That <laughs> nigga <laughs> 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 graduated. That nigga was old as hell. <laughs> He's like, damn, bro. This is a rough job. <laughs> I didn't see you change. Yeah, you change. Yeah, you change. Boy, that's the same cafeteria. Though. <laughs> Hell no, mama. Ain't no way I can go to school today. 
Ain't no way. I don't wanna go. This is jail. <laughs> this is jail. All right. I don't, it just sounded so funny, bro. The Gave same the bitch that caught me, taught me coloring. <laughs> <laughs> Teaching me calculus. <laughs> I don't want to go to school no more. Man. Uh, what grade were you in when you seen the fight? Uh, or when the fight happened? Uh, <laughs> you know I'm, saying? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about the nigga that broke up with his girlfriend. And then she find a nigga in the sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> And they be together all the way up to that 12th grade year. And you got to watch that shit. And that nigga play football, basketball, baseball. (laughs) And you fight that nigga. Oh, like, and you lose a fight? (laughs) (laughs) Shit, it's just not funny to me at all. (laughs) The whole time. (laughs) It's funny. Yeah, we got different opinions on that one. No, I mean, funny is funny. That just ain't funny to me. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Which> obviously. <laughs> no, it's not. It's obviously tearing me apart. <laughs> K-12 is oh, no, tearing me apart. Mad at all. It's just watching niggas <laughs> think something is hilarious that is not uh, hilarious to me. K-12 is tearing me apart. That's the way it was. <sighs> yeah. No, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Most, you know. I don't, I'm sorry. Private <laughs> schools are like that. <laughs> Nah, I mean, the story dead. Nah, I ain't about to tell the story now. For what? Please. <laughs> yeah. Please. Wait. To be fair. Please tell the <laughs> story. Fair, K through 12 is the story. You <laughs> <laughs> seen the fight. K through 12. That trumped the fight, dog. <laughs> it's, the, it's the nigga that was there. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Damn, bro. I did go to a school like that, bro. And yeah. it was some niggas that was lame from oh. K to 12, bro. <laughs> like, it was just, you just knew that they were the person that they got picked on. What? Yo, by ninth grade, wow. you ran out of shit to tell niggas. They grew they into seen blue it. jokes, though. They was like, bro. I seen it. I was there, nigga, for yeah. everything we've ever done. Facts. But that's cool, though. That's kind of cool. Like no. if you really if you get a it, not not if niggas is lame but if you catch a cool ass crew and go to school with them niggas forever, bro, that's like yeah, that's no hard. Like no other for real. That's hard. Like but play basketball and shit. Nigga, <laughs> nigga be fifth grade on varsity. And shit. <laughs> 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 that little nigga look like he go to one of them schools. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, put in the comments if you think that's funny. Because <laughs> that shit is tearing me apart. <laughs> we need to do another subject. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I think we've done that before. Yeah. I think we've done that before. That's a good one, though. Mm. Um, did we do first? Oh, Christmas gifts. All right, we all coming up on the holiday. Mm. Yeah. Shit, nigga. I'm out of that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, his Christmas get bad. <laughs> Coogee Chocolate, boy. They got news paper. <laughs> Hell nah. You know, Marcus Garvey. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to run that back. We got to run. Um, so I used to get the same fucking Christmas gift. Seven G.I. <laughs> Joe's. <laughs> And they didn't wasn't in a box. They was wrapped with just with paper. So they were they were in the shape of a oh, shit. <laughs> my nigga. How many times did you get that shit, bro? <laughs> Several years. Several years to the point where I had Nigga, that was a give that was a give back. Several years to the Wait, point to where that somebody. the sleepovers <laughs> she was stealing them. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> it was thefts. <laughs> My mama just stole somebody. Oh, G.I. Joe said, yeah, I'm about to sparse this out over the next seven oh, years. Man. Oh, my <laughs> God. To the point where niggas would come over and we would play football with the 
G.I. Joe niggas. Yeah, niggas had a line, like 11 on 11 with a bitch. You had that many G.I. Joe? Seven. Oh, seven a like year, 50. nigga. Two years, you got. Yeah, and I get a couple of strays. You know what I mean? Nigga would trade. I get like one for two. Like if you had a black one, mm. you trade a black one. You know what I mean? Get two for black. You got to trade two white ones for a black one. Yeah, <laughs> you did. <laughs> you did. Because the black was so rare, bro. They so rare, nigga. Like, I don't even remember the nigga name now. I could take, a, take mm-hmm. the top off. Right. Nah, man, I needed them for Sunday. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a big game, baby. We need everybody, bro. Bro, it was just one dude talking about, like, big toy shit. This nigga had a <laughs> toy room. Mm. That's how many toys this nigga had. Like he had a t- his nigga name was Weldon. <laughs> Weldon. I bet Weldon ain't shit now. That's too much. Man, bro. Weldon, bro. Like he had. I think we even talk about this on the Carlos episode, bro. Like this nigga had mm. all of the everything. Like the castle, all the castle, gray skull shit. Like yeah. all of the places where they. The micro machines will get fixed and shit. Like, bro, all that shit, bro. How, uh, being a parent, like, what. <laughs> What's the the level of kind of like? Now I want to say spoiling, but like doing so much for your your child that they probably won't. Then they may not be getting the same lessons that you got. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's a it's a fine line, I guess. Um, I would think so. But yeah, see, I got I got girls. So you gonna spoil them so automatically? You got to spoil them. Because otherwise they're gonna be looking for shit from mm-hmm. you. Don't want to. You don't want to make it easy for them to be impressed by. They gonna be playing varsity material basketball. Material things, you right? Know what I'm mm-hmm. They gonna be in the WNBA if you don't give them shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> dribbling, with, dribbling with her left hand early. Drop step. Ah, <laughs> slapping glass. Brittany Two Grimes. hands. Oh, my first. dad don't love me. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a ball, ma. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to come rose with me, goddamn. Uh, That's hilarious. Come rose with me, yeah. Let's go. Should, we hilarious. should we, we should premiere that in an episode. Get that kick. See what that love like. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Smart. Give the people some extra shit because they Smart. are they are fucking with me. Thank y'all. Hey. Oh, it's, a, it's a it's a line, right? Hold on, let me establish. Some shit. Hey, you know I got a career ahead of me. If you embarrass me on this camera, nigga. We in that this shit say cut, boy. That shit rolling, cut that shit. <laughs> What's going on? This is your boy Remo Ride with another episode of Come Roast With Me, where we take comedians and regular people that may have a little roasting skills that you don't know about and put them on camera for y'all. This the new generation, the people in the streets, and we took it to Peter Street right here in Atlanta, Georgia. So we gonna get some comedians up and we gonna see what they got. You feel me? We got our first brother today will come roast with me. Tell him your name, where you from. Uh, K Street, Broward County, Florida, 954. It is. So you're not from the mountains in Wakanda? No, brother. <laughs> no, brother. <laughs> hey, y'all know who he look like? Eddie, Eddie. That's like, what's the door breaker, Eddie? That nigga's a motivated team, ain't he? <laughs> brother, <laughs> you don't get your trap carpet hairstyle out of here, boy. That yeah, nigga hairstyle. wake up to trumpet music. <laughs> Remo Rod. Bro, this nigga got on express loafers. Shout out. If, what are those? If you don't get your straight off Shout the mannequin, the because I don't know Shout what to Shout out to the swag. Face niggas gonna man. hate. Niggas built like an eighth grade confused dyke. Bro. That nigga just came out. I want a ball, ma. Yeah. <laughs> How long you been doing time, bro? Oh, about a year and a half. A year and a half? Yeah. All right, so is roasting one of your things you keep in the tub to do people know you for roasting? I don't start, but if you open up the plug, and then we like this. Man, you be starting shit, nah, bro. Nah, I don't start. I don't start, but I will continue. <laughs> I will all right, continue. All right. What do you feel like your weaknesses are in your roast? Do you feel like are you a more counterpuncher? You want to see what somebody's gonna Sometimes, say first. You got a haymakers, but you ain't connecting. Sometimes I second guess the initial judgment. Sometimes I be like, ah, I shouldn't say it, or rather than it just. Go through. Let it go. Sometimes you just gotta let that shit go, man. Exactly. And we gonna put you up against somebody that I feel like you need to get some shit off your chest. Okay. So we gonna introduce you to him. And we gonna come back with Con Rose with me and see what he got. K Stress. So to tell you that last nigga, he said he been away from comedy for one year. That nigga need to quit. Screw you. You're fired. 
Hey man, we got contestant number two tonight with Hum Rose with me. Tell us your name, where you from? Bro. My name is TJ Spells, AKA Cheddar Finney out here in these streets. Cheddar Finney out here in these streets. Where you, where you from? I'm originally born in Florida, but okay. Atlanta raised me. You do got a Florida face. Yeah, yeah, I get that a lot. Dade County smiles. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we doing? No, we need to get into the show yet, no, right? I'm just saying you like, right. But listen, how long you been doing comedy, bro? Ooh, about four, four years. You got PTSD, I see yeah, you. Yeah, I'm finna get there. <laughs> don't do your jaw, don't do your jaw like that no more. Do it again, don't do it again. <laughs> I'm finna deal, boy. They cut that shit out, they, they can flip, flip, they can flip that shit around. Everything in. I'm nigga. raw and uncut. Come roast with me, bro. What's so up? listen. I roasting, do people know you for roasting? Are you known for roasting? See, back in the day, I know what I used to do, but. I done really got in my bag trying to tell jokes. Okay. And that's what I be trying to do right. But I roast nigga ass quick. 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 So you a starter? Shit, I pop this shit off. That's what, that's what you try to ask me to do. Oh, so yeah, see, you you're get it. Well, I got a head full of tampons, boy. <laughs> <laughs> bro, but you laugh like you got a tracheotomy, bro. And now nobody moving the line. Say that again? <laughs> Nothing, bro. <laughs> what we gonna do is place you with somebody feel like K Striggs is the guy for you. A one on one. Man, on you know what I'm saying? Back with Con Rose and me. Uh, 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 rise. Uh, like a trap gummy bear, nigga. Uh, he just got a whole bunch of long nipples in his head. <laughs> Whoever wanna go first, go first. Shit, there ain't no goddamn flip of a coin. That shit all fire, nigga. This nigga TJ just had his first menstrual cycle as a stud. Boo. That nigga look like he worked half a day, stupid ass boy. I'll ask it, why do your knees touch? Uh, I'll ask it, why you got an ox cord hanging out your head? <laughs> I, I found a car full of receipts for sports bras in this nigga car. <laughs> oh shit. Can we do the countdown? Pray the Lord, stepping that nigga, I'm finna get you. You thought that was the same tan, ugly nigga. You got on three different browns. I'm finna claim his ass. But I'm, I'm I ain't got nothing. Me, boy. I told you not to do that shit, boy. I told you not to do that shit. Are you quitting on national no, TV? I told you not. Why you say that shit, bro? This is what happens at Rose hey, TV. Hey. They can't handle the pressure. Three more rounds. I just told you I'm out here trying to better myself in the world, bro. And you gonna tell them folks I got receipts full of sport bras and shit, bro? God. Oh, Y'all are fucking with us. Like, people are coming up to us in the street. Like, a nigga stopped me. I don't even know where I was just at just now. A nigga stopped me in the hotel. I had my mask on, too. Oh, shit. The podcast. He, no, first of all, he was like, you the bros, right? I was like, yeah, but you know, I had nothing on. And he was like, you the bros, right? I was like, yeah. He's like, podcast, man. Fucking with it. More than culture, man. Oh, shit. Y'all keep hard. going. Yeah, I meant to tell y'all that. That shit hard. I just told y'all. That's hard. We man. might need to do that check-in, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I was at Shaw University with mm -hmm. um, Bankshot and Darren. Freshman came out out of nowhere. Podcast shit funny. Why yeah. like what y'all do? College so. kids fuck with podcasts, man. Yeah, they they just sit back, smoke like how we used to, but we we didn't have nothing to watch but bootlegs, a butter Comic rim and shit. Some shit. Comic view, butter rim. Right. Or if you was lucky enough to have a cable hookup or something, you could catch some Law and Order. I mean, <laughs> y'all want to fuck on Law and Order in college? No, I work. I was. I was For real, say, nigga. What bitches like? Law, the women like Law and Order. Law and Order used to come on at three. The women I like mm -hmm. fuck with goddamn Judge Hatchet. <laughs> oh, you was bringing old bitches Judge to campus. Hatchet, <laughs> it's it's Judge Maybelline. <laughs> it's old old hey, you bring <laughs> old bitches to campus. You know what I'm she said, "Wait, what you saying? Was that now, son? <laughs> <laughs> I'm down here at the perimeter of Georgia. The perimeter. Oh, no, I'm at the mall. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give me thirty Listen, minutes. I'll be down there. If a woman can't take me to a ball, you know what I'm saying? I'm on the <laughs> hey, you know what? Pet peeves. Speaking of, one of my pet peeves is a woman that can't can't pay attention to directions to my house. Like you can't get to my house, I will not let you in. What you mean, no, bro? Like if I tell you to to go to the gate and press one nine nine nine, and that's it. 
Don't be like, do I press pound? I would have said. <laughs> Press one nine nine nine. Bro, that nigga got quiet. Like I would have said. <laughs> would have said. That's how you gotta do. <laughs> no. Fact. And then they in there like, okay, so I'm by the pool. I'm not by the pool. <laughs> I'm not by the pool. Three more levels upstairs. It just, I don't know. It just, it, it ain't normal. But that's what pet peeve shouldn't be normal. Yeah, pet peeves. You know what I mean, um, pet peeves, bro. When a girl got dang be cutting up her food. And you can hear that shit, just like the fork and the on knife the plate on the plate. Oh, she's doing that to annoy you. People just don't. Do oh that. man, that shit should be like. People do that to annoy people. For real? Yeah. You did. Well, you did. You, you got to think about <coughs> these times. You got to think about like if you did something before that, or she caught you doing something you ain't think about, or you ain't know she caught you. And that's 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 one crazy. You be like. What's wrong? What's going on? Or stop? Right. Well, first of all, if you would, she want that. But if you ain't saying that, she just gonna keep. Mm. I was. <laughs> My bad. I ain't want to jump in your pet peeve. Yeah, you got one. Um. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when people, and that not just women, anybody. Go. Wait, it ain't gotta be. Women. Yeah. <sighs> After they drink something. <laughs> <laughs> hate that shit. Come on, that's the commercial, the commercial. eye. Like, I hate that. That is so that's commercial. Sprite. But the pet peeve ain't got to be normal. I hate it. No, people do it. No, people do do it. I'm saying, no, your, your pet peeve, he was like, you can't say that. You can say it. It ain't got to be a normal yeah. thing. Like, it ain't normal. Or so, that. so most people don't even give a fuck about people doing I it. I hear it be so loud to me. Yeah. So if a nigga ran up Stone Mountain, <laughs> hot as a bitch, mm-hmm. drunk their first thing of beverage. But see, the thing is, is like if you if you drink it and you breathing hard, it's like. <sighs> but if you go, <sighs> I'm gonna be like, nigga, what is this? like? <laughs> that is relief. <laughs> he My gonna boy. punch a nigga back down, no <laughs> mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga hate the sound of relief. That nigga don't like it. That nigga do not like relief. <laughs> no, I don't. If that's what it's called. That nigga got pet peeve, relief. Really? I need everyone at attention. Hey. Ah, shit. That's funny as hell. That's a good, those are good ones. All right. <laughs> All right. So, mm. here goes one. When was the last time that you told someone the truth, the hard truth? Mm. I don't even know the answer to that. That's a hard ass question though. Put it in the comments. <laughs> like, <laughs> mm, it's hard, it right? Hard. Tough. This is a therapy question. You know what I'm saying? Because you'd be yeah. like, who is watching? Right. That's what <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but if you told them the hard truth already, what's the. Man, sometimes when it's hard, they they hold on yeah. to that tough shit. <laughs> that, hard, that hard don't go away. That hard don't uh, so, re rock. What, so, what is shit? The hard. Don't. I mean, but you know, you know, you put it together in your mind. Like, all right, damn. When I tell him this, it could go. Yeah, yeah. So if it go the other way, you, you, you this it. They, they, they not, they not watching. Yeah, well, do yours, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't watching. They ain't watching. Right. They ain't, ain't but a couple people. I'm telling hard truths to. A hard truth for me was telling someone I was involved with that I was the prize in, in the whole thing. Because they were all just setting up how I needed to be in order to be right for them. Oh, bitch. <laughs> Damn. I ain't say that. I ain't say that. No, I ain't say it. I, ain't say I mean, was well, shit. I ain't say that. Your mind said it. Nigga. But the hard truth was, hey, in this situation, like you need to be falling in my line. <laughs> nigga, Ooh. I'm doing everything. 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 Yeah, that's that's a hard truth. Yeah, man. And you know what I mean? Did she hit you? I'm Muslim, so I need <laughs> at least four wives. That's for you even be talking to me like this. You're talking too much like four women right here. Talking too much. But yeah, that was a hard truth. You yeah. know what I mean? She didn't agree. I would think she wouldn't. Yeah, clearly. I mean, yeah, that's the thing sometimes with women. Like, you, you break down facts, and then they just get loud. 
Oh, oh that's what you, that's what you, that's your reaction to a fact. Is is okay? Volume. 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 Okay, let me let me let me go ahead and punch a hole in this wall to stop that volume. No, nah, but look though, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I was with a girl, and this ain't the hard truth, but I was with a girl who broke up with me mm-hmm. because I didn't hit her. Like that was one of the things that she was crazy. Yeah. She was she was like, you like we don't we don't, we don't never go at it. <laughs> she was psycho. Right. This Man. nigga fucking with Heather. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga fucking with Ronda Rousey. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> nigga fucking with a battle rap bitch. <laughs> I dated Big Les. For Big Les. <laughs> no, I even had the beat. <laughs> But oh yeah, man, bro. yeah, yeah. She, it, she, it'd be all type of. Hopefully, she's gotten some therapy since. Yeah, because right? that's tough. That's a lot. Sheesh. Whoa, that's a lot. That's that's a lot. So did she hit you? Yeah. Good question. Yes, she bit me. <laughs> she bit me. She bit me, bro. With her teeth? <laughs> With her teeth? What else? Like hard, bro. Like hard. You still got a bite mark? Because bite marks last a so while. So it was do. three years for it to yeah. fully yeah. heal. Mm. Where she bite you? Full middle, full middle to the white meat. You know what I'm saying? Where, what part of you? Middle oh, middle, middle chest, chest to the white meat. Damn. She bit your chest off? My nigga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she bit through, she tried to bite through your chest plate? Bro, mm. nigga. Like, what is she trying to bite? And I had on a shirt. <laughs> oh, God. That Yo, was the one time. On. What were you doing? I'm just like, what? You were trying to hold her back, and she's so, just trying to attack you, and she snatched my phone forward. out my hand. I tried to get my phone back. <laughs> she got her hands behind her back. No, no. Okay. Like, we both I got thought you were trying to reach behind right. her. Like, uh-huh. like, we both got the phone and, like, you know, pulling and she pulling it. Uh-oh. And she was saying, Oh. I was like, Arr. Yeah, I told you. Ronda Rousey. I said, Ah, you got it. Because yeah. yeah. my nigga, my whole. Oh, yeah, baby, you got it. You got my phone. Mm-hmm. Damn. That would have been the only time it would have been proper to. <laughs> only time they got him, like, yeah, see what's up. <laughs> And you gotta make the noise. <laughs> and she was such a. <laughs> she bit through my shirt. She was dominant, and she spit out nothing. But she, but, but she did it like she spit. like I got a piece of you, <laughs> nigga. Ooh, like, bitch, the meat is still in my shirt. <laughs> Slowly going down <laughs> under my shirt and falling on the ground uh, that yeah, I cannot retrieve. Was crazy, bro. What was in your phone? Huh? What was in your phone? Nothing, bro. Nah, like, all right, so nah. it was a suspicion. It was a suspicion. <laughs> it was a suspicion of something. Bit your chest open. Bit my chest open for, for a suspicion. suspicion of something. It's always He's suspicion, bro. Off the chain, boy. boy. I mean, we ain't too much better, but that's crazy. Because it was something in your phone. She just didn't see it. But I ain't biting no chest. That's real. That's real. Have you ever bit a chest? Nah, hell no. Nah. I ain't never, never bit, bit a nobody. person. I ain't never bit a person. At Have all. I bit a person? I Don't act like. Niggas be biting like it. sexually. Yeah, not That's like some fight. No, nah, you're right. It's totally not the White same. White boy bit me in a fight though, for real. What? Yeah, white boy definitely bit my like elbow or some shit. Like, <laughs> elbow. elbow. Yeah, college man. Yeah. <laughs> some got down. You know, Shout out to HBCUs. You don't have to go to school with white people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you got to fight better. You do have to stand <laughs> yeah. for your own. And then you got to meet under a tree to fight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sick of like, God we damn, man, off. we are not in, in K-12. <laughs> 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 Meet me on the yard. Not fighting you by this tree, man, so everybody can see, man. This is the Sycamore Square Off. <laughs> Sycamore Square Off. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, though. I wish I went to a black school, for real, man. That's a different type of, this is a different level of love, a different type of cheering. Like, and for real, bro, like, <laughs> You ain't even got to go to the HBCU college. You got to be there. You could just you can pull up. You could just pull up. <laughs> Niggas will feel like you 60, go there. Sixty percent of the people on the <laughs> AUC campus right now. Niggas give you the benefit Don't of the doubt that you go there. Dog. They tell you that shit in the orientation. No shit. Absolutely. Niggas just over here. They tell you yeah. most of the people that you meet. Yeah. Do not go here. Uh, like they tell you that shit. It's, I mean, that's just that's just what it is. Nigga, but how you get to such a class? Ooh, good question. Yeah. <laughs> which, which nothing, building you at? Except the drugs. Yeah. I know Except the, the drugs. drugs. That baby. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. You got that. That teach you about life, though. HBCU teach you about life quick because they be 
in the hood, like to where if you walk like two blocks away from campus, you're done. Mm-hmm. Everywhere you go, you walk it's, across campus. As yeah. soon as you walk onto any Martin Luther King Jr. Drive, because they be closer to HBCUs, mm-hmm. I done peeped that out too. You know what I'm saying? Just make sure you look mm-hmm. to your left and right, nigga. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I know y'all fought that Clark boy. Y'all stay off a place called Brawley. Yeah, shout Brawley out Hall. Brawley Hall. Nigga had the brawl at. Stayed in Brawley Hall, 1999. Yeah, fight champion, nigga. Hurricane president Carter. Brawley. He was the president? Yeah. Boy. Oh, shit. Boy, the president. Get this nigga his flowers. He got new AC units for the windows. They wouldn't let us spend the money, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, 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 here it Real is. Real shit, bro. We threw it. Shout out to me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this nigga, boy. <laughs> That's it. First right. one. Nah, man. We the no, there's no and, other people on and, the list. And, um, <laughs> Shout out to me. Yeah. Yeah. House party. This is a list hand. Yeah, that's a list hand. Shout out to me. I'm all of them. And that's it. <laughs> Myself. Nah, I don't even. Nah, my vice president was terrible. Shout out to Mike Petway. He shouldn't have been vice president. <laughs> wow. First day Full last name. Day. Face that nigga, Mike Petway. <laughs> we, we called him. We what called does Mike Petway do? Called now? Him White I'm like, Mike. Oh damn, I fuck with y'all. <laughs> no, me and Mike still cool right now. We in the fantasy league together right now. No. Okay. Uh, but he ain't shit. And he know yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, um. You said he had small braids. I said, you I said have a small you, grudge. How you know that? Is this the dude that be coming around? No, nah, that's Chris. Okay. Okay. No, nah, that's Chris. Chris also went to Clark. He didn't stay in Barley though. Okay. Nah, but so we threw first semester an amazing party in the calf. Ooh, a calf party. A pajama house party. jammy jam. Like how Just party three. Three. house party three. Yes. It was three. amazing. They let we, y'all do it? Yeah, we had full fucking, you know what I'm saying? Had to pay the Department of Student Affairs and everything. It was it was cheap. Shit was like two dollars to get in. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We made like fifteen hundred dollars. Come on now, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And then so like I'm the president of the dorm. I go to the to the the uh, the head resident. Hey, bro, it was seven hundred some people <laughs> in and out. Yeah, that shit, bro. You counted it <laughs> up. Thing was going crazy. Yeah, it was going like crazy. every freshman. That. Was yeah. like slick. Shoot. It was a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? We went super crazy. And then it's three schools close to the same right. school. Yeah, right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So you got yeah. Everybody all got the all the freshmen. You gotta know everybody that. got two. Gotta know that. Sixty percent of niggas that don't. So you had to have. Park. You could not get in without pajamas. Had to Ooh, have make it themed work. out. Ooh, theme it out, my boy. Instagram. Nah, bro. It Ooh, was, they had wind up cameras. Nasty. This bro, nigga said yeah. 99. News, <laughs> newspaper up on the window oh. so you couldn't see. Bro, it went down in there. It was a good time. Nasty. Motherfucking. So we made like $1,500. It was like, we went to the head resident. I was like, yo, we want to buy a TV for the. Uh, for the lounge, for the whatever the shit was called, right, I forget right. what it was the lounge. the lounge, right? And the and the the first floor of the dorm, he was like, nah, because <laughs> they broke they broke the last TV. Oh, you know okay. what I'm saying? It just don't make no sense to buy no TV. So I had a, a few other ideas. I don't remember what they were, but he shut them all down and kept the money. Nah, <laughs> he didn't keep it. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to me. Shout right. out to me. Nah, cause nah, so nah. So they had all the shoes. <laughs> right. So then second semester came around, right? This is spring. We were like, we're gonna we're gonna do it again. We're gonna throw another party. And we were just gonna use the money and, and ramp it up a little bit more. But we paid a nigga to do some flyers. The first the first shit we didn't even had no fl- we I word of mouth it. I printed some flyers out on my computer. I went to Office Depot, bought some yellow fucking paper, mm-hmm. printed out just some put a teddy bear on that motherfucker, just handed them motherfuckers out around the AUC. Oh, college dropout. Motherfucking um So we would the second time we was like, we're gonna get some flyers made. So nigga I'm a freshman. I don't. I, you know, I don't know nobody to make flyers. Mm-hmm. So we get with somebody else. It's like, yo, this the nigga who be making flyers for all the parties, whatever, whatever. This nigga stole our money. No, nah, I mean he stole. He, we paid him three hundred dollars for the flyers. Which was, I mean, but it was Which it was for regular price. Yeah, you know I'm saying it was like yeah, it was never for, saw the nigga again. Never. Damn. And so we was just like, fuck it. So then it was twelve hundred. You know what I'm saying? The party we the party shit fell through. Um and then it was like, nigga, by this time it's like, nigga, March. And it's like two months left in the semester, bro. That mm-hmm. might be about it. So nigga, it was me, the vice president, and the treasurer. 
I was like, listen, mm. I ain't gonna lie, it was my idea. 400 apiece. I said, listen, <laughs> man. Cause matter of fact, the first time <laughs> we took money, we ain't take it all at once. <laughs> we ain't take it all at once. It okay. was just like a, you know what I'm saying? Little like every, everybody get a hundred. Hell yeah. Go you get know what I'm some, saying? Some, then some nice. next weekend it's like, nigga, it's still 900 in there. Yeah, man. <laughs> It's, you know, yeah, three more times lot, to go back. A, a college student, a week what? is a lot to uh, hold some money away. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, that week shit was in school. A whole man, we had that money since like October. Mm. Nigga, it's March. You held it down. They won't huh? let us do shit with it. It was like, man. I'm finna spin it. Finna spin it. Yes, sir. Spunt it. And I was working at Foot Locker. Ooh, yes. discount shot it. Right. And this is one of the one of the main reasons I say Mike Petway ain't shit. He snitched. No, nah, it's because <laughs> <laughs> I got Sound like a snitch though, bro, Mike Petway. I got that lie. nigga a job at Foot Locker. Oh man. And this nigga broke the gate. How you do that? Playing. All you do is play. Mike Playing, Petway bro. Like, like the the assistant manager. This is a sidetrack. I'm gonna come back to this story, but one of the funniest things I ever heard somebody say to a person in the store is this bitch named Dawn. <laughs> I hated her. I see. Yeah, mm. I can't stand her. She was just mean for no reason. She was the assistant manager. She uh, was being rude to a customer, right? And the customer was like, yo, how old are you? Ah, uh, so that just makes you mad. And she was like, I ain't about to tell you how old I am. Nigga, fuck you. Like, nah, nah, for real. Nah, serious. All oh, seriousness. Yeah, for yeah. real. Like, how old are you? Tell that. And she, they just kept going back and forth. And she was like, why the fuck do you want to know how old I am? And he said, because <laughs> I ain't never seen nobody that old with all their baby teeth. <laughs> 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 when I tell you that I almost died in the middle of North Cab Mall for a lot, boy, that shit was so good. Did she have braces funny. on them too? No, she just had, to, and I had never even really looked at her teeth yeah. until that moment. And I was like, man, she does have the smallest teeth I have ever seen in my life. Uh, anyway, so she was coming back from the food court and did nobody like her. Like the whole store hated her. She had just transferred in. And so Mike was going to let the gate down halfway and then let it back up. Like just trying to be funny, but he didn't know that when you let the gate down, the gate got to go all the way back down mm -hmm. before you can let it back up. Like mm -hmm. just the way it worked. So he was trying to fucking flip the switch back up, broke the fucking switch off. The foot locker was closed for two days after that. Oh, that's some money. Fuck the church's money. <laughs> yes, Mike Petway. Mike Petway. What Mike Petway doing now? Still working that gate off. Nigga, <laughs> 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 still that foot locker working yeah. that gate off. Uh, I don't know what I think he might work in, work for somebody in accounts payable or some shit like that. Or that. Did you have any like great finds when you was working, like some shoes that you still got? Now, see, I worked at Foot Locker right before, like right at the start, of the, uh, when they started releasing retros, mm. Jordans, like right at the like two thousand yeah. when they started when they first started putting them shits back out. So I used to get those. But other than that, no. And they caught a couple of air raids. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I stayed with some, I, I, I liked Air Maxes at that time. Air Max, yeah. I stayed man. with some 95s, some 97s. Come on, man. Hell yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with a little Max. Nothing yeah. wrong with a Max, man. My favorite shoe I ever got from that store was the all white 11s, the mm. Carolina Blue. Mm hmm. <laughs> then back out. Time. Those came back out. Shout out to Tyler, whose sneaker game has been going crazy lately. Man, man. look. Listen, man. As a, as a fellow big footy and <laughs> You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, you send respect out to a nigga who, who, who wear a 13 and get what he want, man. Because it ain't an easy thing to do. It ain't an easy thing, man. Thank you, brother. <laughs> it ain't. It's all the you know thing you want, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to the 12 and a half. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nigga got them cool grays. Right. Brand new shoes. I wanted to do it. I just I I couldn't justify it. <laughs> couldn't justify cool grays. I couldn't justify it. I think man. you could, man. Was it four hundred? Yeah. Depends on who you know. I mean, they come out in December. Yeah. Oh, he so got them. Oh, you got them now? I had them for a while. Now. Ooh, don't say yeah. a while, nigga. I'm gonna say it. But I had about, I had about three. It. Got about three weeks ago. That's my mother. That's that's my shoe, man. Mm -hmm. That's the only shoe that. I tried to order some shoes from China for. 
<laughs> like I tried, off, I nice. tried my luck. I tried my luck. Fuck it. Let me see. Just see, let me see how yeah. how like how close they are gonna be. It's seventy five dollars. Boy, that's hilarious, <laughs> bro. Them bitches gonna. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And then it was like my nigga who who um resells. Right. He was like, "Yo, try this site out. They might not be real, but they're gonna be. They're gonna. They're gonna be really, really close, man." Listen. And I was like, "Man, three wares. The real nigga. Nah, like- zero. Zero wares. Oh, they fucked up. They were, yeah. The gray on them was it was silver. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You know what I'm saying? Like the top, the top was cool, but the patent leather was oh, silver. Man. Like I, I, oh, I'd never put them on. Them discount mall J boy, them motherfuckers. I remember nigga first told me about the discount mall out here, man. So I put them shits on. I was like, these motherfuckers look like a snicker bar. Like, but see, if you if you <laughs> go if you <laughs> go um the to the mall in a in like certain Asian countries, they sell them shits at the mall. Like you gotta be, you can't, you gotta be it's careful. Out, yeah. yeah, they had a when bunch I was, here. Remember that when I was in Malaysia when I did study abroad over there. Talk your shit. They was um like you would walk in a store, right? They would be like, you like how like how is it possible everything. that y'all have all of these Jordans right. that haven't been on sale for years? But they right. had. You want the, uh, Eddie, George? <laughs> you Eddie want George? Eddie George. <laughs> George. Yeah, Eddie George. Hey, bitch, you got the Nick Van Nichols. Like I said, everything. <laughs> Oh man, good shit, y'all. Yes, sir. I think I got. I think these lights are about to do me in. I think that's what's making me sleepy now. Yeah, lights is crossing my eyes, brother. You looking yeah, I mean, I'm trying not to look up, but I'm looking weird now. I know I am. You don't <laughs> ever feel like you're looking weird. Yeah, like you look weird now, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of looking weird, get every dollar. Come on, man. Don't look weird. Go ahead don't look it. weird. Merch man. for hire. Merch you look weird when you don't get every dollar. And, and you look weird when you don't own yourself. You do look stupid as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Yeah, man. Whoa. You can look. Jeez. You know Whoa. I mean? You don't want to look stupid as fuck out here. Whoa. And if you just need to <laughs> goddamn move some shit around in your day. Mm-hmm. Stop fucking around, man. Just go ahead and get one, man. Just shout out to Sydney. Castillo. I say his name was not at all, but we know who you talking about. Steve Yo, Steve Yo, mm-hmm. Castillo. That nigga oh. put like all the options of the different ways to say the L's. In Castillo, there. Castillo. He did, <laughs> he did <laughs> the, the, extra the L, the double L, the Y sound. That nigga did them all. The Y sound. <laughs> <laughs> the white sound. The white sound. The white sound. Everything. Just it's got hilarious. my face covered. Yeah. Nigga, I'm right, gonna say uh, every way you can say right. this. I'm gonna say it one time. <laughs> it didn't okay. sound right. All right. All right. Let's try it again. Shout out to my boy Sydney Castillo, yeah, my nigga, bro. Yeah, man. What he copped, he copped a couple of them. Man, he always get merch. And don't even say nothing. He just wear it. Yeah, man. Yeah, Shout yeah. out to y'all, man. Freaka deal me. Freaka deal, man. Remember that? Belly two is trash. Yo, that one like there wasn't even belly two. Did you know that? What yeah, you mean? I heard the story. I think I probably told you. Man, I've seen a documentary. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not. <laughs> it was not like the the film company that owned the rights to Belly mm-hmm. also had this movie with the game in it that they didn't know what to do with. Like it, they didn't know how to market it. It wasn't going to go to theaters. Shot. Like they were like, "How are we gonna?" It was already shot. Like yeah, and they were like, "Just call it Belly Two. Oh, that's fucking and weak. And put it straight to DVD. Straight like that. That is weak. So it had nothing to do with Belly yeah, at all. to make sure the Belly 2 got the little buzz off of it. You are watching, be like, Belly 2. <laughs> 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 this is hurting my Belly 2. This is hurting my Belly 2. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, man. Oh. Some shit popping, man. Got some things in the works. Uh, new look. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, departments. I mean, we ain't going to talk about too much. But, uh, the pot mints. Yeah, man, that's gonna be what it is. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. He's got a major roles in a in a in a in a series that's super man. funny already. And you know, you'll see. You've seen it. On, the man. buzz is happening. Yeah, buzz man. Is Big told us to pull up to see the trailer. Listen, man. man. Shit going up, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all nigga, man, we all gonna be here. I'm just listen, I can't wait, bro. Listen. Yes, We're gonna have a Rockefeller party. Everybody gonna get big chains, big you stupid chains, and then we gonna sell them. <laughs> <laughs> Same day. What? Same day. More than culture chain. Boom. Bow. Thousand pictures. Boom. Take the bitches off. Bomb. Auction. Boom. 
sell them, get a smaller chain. You should. Stocks. Boom. It's all about portfolio yeah, shit, real popping. estate. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Got to have a portfolio. Yeah, Bitcoin. Then goddamn. All the shit that nigga be saying on Instagram. And, uh, <laughs> for, you know what I'm talking about? Forex. Then goddamn. Then they got got a shame and she was like, y'all. Oh, well, and she looked in such duress yeah, in the video, she bro. She just woke up when she did the video. Yeah, bro. The, I ain't going to say my favorite part because it's, it's not a favorite. <laughs> <laughs> because that was nah. The part I like when she suffered the most. Nah, but at the <laughs> at the very like the last frame of the video, like she goes from talking and then she does this little fake smile and then her face completely goes like just blank. I, I gotta like, see it again. Wow. Yeah, it's That's like a weird favorite part. No, nah, it's not, it ain't a favorite part. It's just like I know ain't I know other people ain't say ain't see it and it was like damn, your phone dead. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> now I'm laughing. Sydney texts me just now. Speaking of, oh, that's too crazy. Castillo. Yeah, yeah, man. Make yeah. sure you got now subscribe to everybody's YouTube too, man. Come on, Secret, <laughs> Secret Gene, Remo Rod, Tyler Chronicles, Ronnie Joy. Shit. All right, yo. Rob Hayes episode again. This Rob is Hayes is going crazy. Fire. Mr. Mighty L says, so we not going to address that Rob Hayes look like the Aubrey side of Drake? <laughs> the Aubrey side is hilarious. Yeah, y'all be in the comments uh, going crazy. The Aubrey side of Drake. Yeah, yeah dude, shout out to whoever we t- comment we read on the last post. He wasn't happy because he said the, the episode we decided to read his post from or on we ain't promote we ain't promoted at all. What do you mean? No, nah, he said we we read his his comment on the Rob Hayes episode, but that's the episode. only episode ever that we net do we didn't post no <laughs> nothing for we didn't post no video. Man, niggas for. crazy in this episode, so we gotta make sure we show love, man. We gonna post it. Man, man. We didn't get that. Shout out to the niggas currently in my inbox right now trying to scam me into hacking my instagram oh, man. Oh. i did engage them a little bit just because sometimes it's fun to engage the scammers <laughs> they told me there was, it was uh, they were gonna charge me 150 dollars and 76 cents to get my page verified Why the 76 cents? i don't know i, 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 like, <laughs> I said my response was 150 76 all i have in my account is 144.89 Will you accept that? Because I know once I verify, I'm gonna get all the money and the bitches. <laughs> it's over with. And then I put a ha- halo emoji. <laughs> and the bitches. What so do you they, mean, sir? <laughs> so now they just sent me a question mark. Mm. Sir, what happened? Whatever do you mean? But they see, no, nah, but see, they stupid because. And then see, I also said, okay, I forgot to tell y'all, I just changed my IG to at y'all niggas think I'm stupid. At y'all nigga got me <laughs> fucked up big time. All right, this episode's over, guys. Yeah, it is, man. So uh, we like to end the episodes with a segment we call Secret Genius Life Coach. Uh-huh. Where I give the people some words of wisdom, get through the week, get to the next episode. Yeah, I that. am Kamal, the Secret Genius, and the words of the week. Are this um, don't forget the other side, man. I think I might have did that one already. Scratch that. that. You know, I didn't do that one. I don't remember. Don't forget right. the other side. You can't forget about little brother. I'll be forgotten to got to forgetting to put a little check mark on my list when I'm I do church it. in the morning. Um, don't forget the other side, man. As creative people. We be locked into building up our creativity and, and expanding ourselves. One side of, man, you know what? I don't like that one no more. Mm-hmm. We've been there. Yeah, right, I'm going to do that one. We're going to cut that one out. Look, Rewind. Don't no more. He, he watching don't, videos. Yeah, that nigga over there watching. <laughs> 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 watching, watching gorilla fights and shit. <laughs> that bitch on 10, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, back to pet peeves. Nigga, people who watch 
uh, videos <laughs> on their phone with the sound on in Man, public. This, I can't stand that. The shit. whole video too. Like, what are you doing? It's like, bro, she enjoying it. Show one time in the crowd. In the oh, crowd at Cloud Nine cool. years ago, back when these weren't doing. Yes. Well, I mean, to her credit, she had just figured out her phone could do that. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't ten years into having f- phones that can play videos. Just, <laughs> she ain't even try to move it though. She just, <laughs> you know what I mean? She would be like, "Oh shit, I'm sorry." She ain't. <laughs> All right, um, the words of the week are this: "You better than you allow yourself to be." You know what I'm saying, like, mm. stop telling yourself mm. it's me. It's me. what you are, and man, that's just how I am. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? I always been like that. That's just that's just how I do. You locking yourself in to what is most likely some bullshit because that's those are words used to excuse bullshit. So, you know, you you better than that. Allow yourself to be. Come on, man. That's all I got. That's on the gang, bitch. That's all we need. More Than Culture is the brand. This is the podcast. Come out of Secret Genius, Remo Rod, Tyler Chronicles, Ronnie Jordan. We are. I don't even think we did an intro on this episode. So put that at the beginning, and then it'll be at the end too. We gone.